It was a moment of gratitude for the six indigenous communities of Nupe ethnic group in Labun Local Government Council of Niger State, as Power Gen Renewable Energy Limited provided affordable renewable solar power for the growth of small scale businesses of the villagers. After working in the communities for over two years, several of the state and local government officials were present to commission the six projects. The first project to be inaugurated was the Dan Chitagi Community Solar Power Project that has the capacity of electrifying over 5,000 homes. The State Permanent Secretary for General Duties, Al-Haji Ibrahim Musa, after inaugurating the project together with other local government leaders, spoke to ITV News on the impact of the project on Lavun Local Government Council communities. Courtesy of power gen, solar for that matter, with this uh, construction, I'm sure the community will move from its uh, traditional outlook to a more social economic developed community. Since they started, I always delegate people to be moving around with them to see how we started, started and how they are doing. But the other time I came to, to see the project by myself, I was very happy. Afterward, Power Gen team moved to Dukuji and Sachiuku communities to inaugurate the same power project for the inhabitants of the two communities. Scenes of merriment and excitement were seen as the villagers received the team. We thank God that this power journey is have developed our community the way we want it and that we very enjoy since they never open it and if they open it, they will enjoy it more and more. Automatically, the securities, they are always around and all the members of the village, we are going to take care. No any, any thief that will come. If he come, he or she is playing with his life. Thereafter. The team proceeded to two other communities named Ebangi and Sosa communities to commission the already planted solar power for the economic well-being of the people. Indigenous community members were seated, waiting for their newly mounted solar power to be commissioned, as the village representative promised security for the assets. It will boost the economy of our community here. Like uh, the, the grand units we have here, we have been using for the petrol. The other grinding machines. So, but with this uh, power gen, we'll be able to facilitate the usage. I give you 100% assurance that this year will be safe and not will happen to it by God's grace because we social community were here and we are going to protect it for you people. The last community to be visited for the project commissioning was Bade community, where the villagers were said to have been waiting long hours for the arrival of the power gen team. The community. Uh, uh, need the assistance from the power generator to give us a subsidized rate of the uh, fee to be charged. The community needs security, security light within the town so that anywhere, any portion in the town, there should be full electrification. The team leader, Alastair Smith, after paying homage to the village elders, proceeded to commission the project. Mr. Alastair Smith, the country director and power gen senior manager customer experience, spoke on the essence of the project. We'll have a total of 13 communities powering over 5,000 connections, which is bringing light to over 20,000 people here in Nigeria. Uh, we are very passionate. Our mission at PowerGen is to transform lives through smarter power. Uh, we believe very strongly that power is a basic uh, need that every person has and that we can help enable those communities by providing electricity to them. They are static that, you know, finally they have access to power across all the six communities that we've energized today. Um, the experience has been awesome and it leaves a mark on us that the work that we have started is, I mean, there's so much that we can do and that we have a whole lot more to do in powering Africa and also in Nigeria specifically, you know. Um, so it's been a, a great day today. Um, being across six communities within Niger State and you know having to energize these communities it's a great um, experience and um, I'm also, it's awesome being here. For most of these communities, renewable energy is the way forward for African countries, especially Nigeria, where epileptic power has characterized the nature of the country's power supply. John Tenner, ITV News.